I loved the horse meat scandal. It was amazing. Partly I loved it because I don't eat meat. <laughs> so, so I was safe. But also, I really enjoyed it because it became a national conversation. It was the one topic that everyone in Britain was talking about, just for a week or so. It was in every paper. The Telegraph were reporting it on the front page. So were the Times. So were the Daily Mail. So was the Guardian. So was the Mirror. Every single paper was doing it. It was all over the TV news. The experts say the discovery of horse meat masquerading as beef in some Findus lasagnas poses no immediate human health risk. On the 16th of January, 10 million burgers were taken off the shelves after traces of horse meat were found. For all we know, it could be for the last three, four, five years. How long has it been going undetected? Tests showed horse meat levels of between 60 and 100% in some products. Give me a feel, just a, y y your gut feel for how big this actually is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you how big it actually is. It's big enough for everyone in the world to have been talking about it, for everyone to have been expressing an opinion about it, which is lovely for me because I have a little hobby. My hobby is scouring the internet looking for eccentricity and pomposity. I find the comments that people leave behind and I collect them and I collate them. I turn them into something that I think is beautiful. That's what I've done with the horse meat scandal. I've taken real comments from real people and I've turned them into a thing I like to call a found poem, which I would like to perform for you now. I am getting increasingly fed up with the news media constantly referring to horse meat. Horses are not made of meat. If they were, there wouldn't be a scandal, because it would all be meat. But they aren't made of meat. They are horses, not cows. <laughs> That's why this is also very, very wrong. I understand that people generally do not want to eat cats and or dogs. <laughs> because cats and or dogs are often pets. But for most people, horses are not pets. If rich people, who are the ones that own horses, <laughs> want to not eat them, then I'll understand. But if you've never owned a horse, what's it got to do with you? <laughs> there is no way on earth this has just happened. <laughs> this was planned. The authorities are behind it. How do I know? Last week, one of the contestants on an episode of Come Dine With Me said they were so hungry they could eat a horse. The episode was filmed many months ago, <laughs> long before this so-called news broke. <laughs> Why would the programme makers leave in such a strange statement unless they knew this was going to happen? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Horses helped Great Britain win wars. Cows did not. <laughs> Horses helped Great Britain win Olympic gold medals. Cows did not. <laughs> and this is how we repay them. <laughs> Shame on us. Shame on all of us. <laughs> Cows and horses are the same thing. <laughs> they both evolved from dinosaurs. <laughs> so really, it is all beef. <laughs> Dino beef. <laughs> The real scandal is yet to break. It is a well-known fact that cow beef comes from cows and not bulls. Hence the phrase, cow beef. <laughs> will horse meat turn out to be stallion and not mare? That will be the nightmare. <laughs> Male animals contain spermatozoa which nobody wants to eat. <laughs> Female animals contain eggs. I like eggs. <laughs> I like eggs. I like eggs. I like eggs. I thank you.